Overheating of Blocks Hi. Today I will talk about one of the reasons why the mycelium does not colonize the substrate. We will consider such a situation. First, the mycelium actively captures the substrate, we see the growth of hyphae and even a change in color, that is, the substrate turns white. But then the block becomes stained and becomes dark. One of the reasons for this situation is the high temperature in the center of the block. Why does uncontrolled heating occur during overgrowing of mycelium? There are several reasons. First, there are too many blocks in the incubator room. But you don't have an air conditioner to keep the temperature of the room at the same level. The second reason is improper processing of raw materials. In this case, along with the oyster mushroom mycelium, mold and bacteria spores begin to grow. They give such a strong warm-up. The third reason is that you put the bags on the racks or laid them horizontally close to each other. In this case, the substrate does not give off heat to the surrounding air and overheats. Or, for example, the temperature in the incubator is low, you put the blocks side by side and cover with a film on top. Blocks can get very hot inside, in the middle of this pile. But at the edges they will be cold and there the mycelium will grow poorly. Therefore, you may not even know that in the middle some part of the blocks has a high temperature. Fourth reason. The type of raw material contributes to heating. Such, for example, is pamuk. This is cotton waste, similar to cotton wool. After soaking, it warms up to 43 degrees Celsius. Therefore, oyster mushroom mycelium is poured in layers and only near the film. Mycelium first grows on the surface of the substrate. When the temperature in the center of the block drops, the mycelium begins to capture the entire thickness of the substrate. What are the consequences of block overheating? If you stack blocks on top of each other and they get very hot, stromo will most likely form on them. I have a video about this, a link to it is in the description of this video and in the first comment. In addition, in the center of the block, where the temperature is highest, the mycelium may die. If we cut such a block in half across, we will see that there is no white mycelium in the center. There is a black spot. If you start to gradually reduce the temperature in the room and the temperature in the center of the block drops to 32 or 33 degrees, the mycelium will most likely again occupy the black spot in the center. It is unfortunate, but many mushroom growers lower the temperature in the room too sharply. For example, they turn on a fan that brings too cold air from outside. Or they turn on the air conditioner by setting it to a low temperature. They think that it will be better this way and the mycelium will not have time to die. However, now these mushroom growers face another problem. Water condenses between the film and substrate due to rapid cooling. In this wet layer, yellow spots appear, in which bacteria multiply rapidly. Or there appears green mold trichoderma or black mold. It often happens that the substrate is well overgrown on one side, but on the side where the cold air blew, there is a wet spot. And the mycelium died there. Unfortunately, even if the entire substrate is well grown, there is a layer of water between the layer of water and the substrate, such blocks do not bear fruit. At what temperature the mycelium dies depends on the conditions in the room and the strain. At 36 degrees in the center of the block for more than a day, the mycelium dies in the center. Then it can regrow. Some strains survive even with a short-term increase in temperature up to 40 degrees. But, in most cases, if the substrate continues to warm up, the hyphae of the mycelium die off even at the periphery and the substrate may turn black completely. Watch my video on how mycelium grows by day. In this video, I also tell you how to control the temperature in the block. That's all for today. Bye everyone.